if you have a new idea, if you have something that you said, this is going to be good for student learning, this is going to be good for our institution, the administration says, okay, give it a shot. That idea of pioneering, of trying something different, of trying something new, of constantly growing, it's the expectation for the faculty. Pioneering is also a spirit, I think, in that the first answer is not always no, because that would make things messy and difficult. I think that it's me. We're, we're all asked to go out, um, to improve ourselves, mm -hmm. and come back and improve the school. Our head of school set some audacious goals and said in 2020, we want to see Concordia as a preeminent school in Asia. And it wasn't a mandate from the head of school that got people talking. It was faculty sitting around and saying, wouldn't it be great to just sit down and have a meeting? Where we unencumbered by budget, unencumbered by any sort of structure that ever existed in any school before. And if you could make the ideal school or the ideal program, what would you want to do? And from that evening came up this gigantic list. This was five years ago. We've accomplished probably 75% of it. When I think about the way Concordia has been pioneering since the beginning. I think about the Shanghai Student Film Festival and that was a couple of teachers who said, wouldn't it be cool if, <laughs> if we had a way for students to share their movies with each other? I think about National History Day and the way a teacher said, wouldn't it be cool if we had a National History Day here in Shanghai? And Concordia said yes. In 2010, Concordia became an affiliate school with Columbia University. Our partnership with Columbia gives us access to the latest curriculum resources that they are developing as well as access to the latest research that is on literacy, on reading and writing. Concordia is the first school in China to implement reading and writing workshop. And they send staff developers to help our teachers understand what workshop teaching is about, what it looks like. They support us with our curriculum. We talk about reading is thinking and writing is thinking. You know, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to create the next generation of thinkers. It keeps our instruction ever more effective and cutting edge. What drew me to Concordia initially was the Yunnan Education Project. It was the concept of service being integrated into the curriculum, being service integrated into what the expectation of the faculty was. Another element that was here when I arrived in 2003 was the interim program. And the interim program allows our students to travel all over China. In a nutshell, it gives them a chance to leave the confines of this uh, wonderful bubble we live in in Shanghai and go to the far reaches of China to work with locals to get their hands dirty and to find that they're not the ones that are actually giving, they're the ones that are receiving from these communities. At Concordia, we are blessed with fantastic facilities. A weight room, which I'm currently standing in, a climbing wall, a dance room, PE Commons, where our kids are able to play table tennis and do some gymnastics, two state-of-the-art uh, gymnasiums, two other gyms that are uh, primarily used by our elementary kids. Uh, we have a huge soccer field, a 70-meter track. With the seeds planted from the 2009 Creative Play Auction, the idea generated to create an outdoor learning classroom was given root. I am not aware of any other school in the world that is run on geothermal heat and has its own weather station and is powering light bulbs on its top floor with solar panels built by the students. Buried underneath the grass are miles of tubing going down, I don't forget how many meters, for our geothermal heat exchange system. We were advised that we should try some alternative and finally concluded that the geothermal heat exchange system would be the most cost effective and it's reduced our energy cost by about 15%. Two key components that our, that our founding uh, teachers and administrators uh, emphasized were both the technology and the service. In the technology, it's the one-to-one -one laptop program has gone far beyond even what they could possibly imagine, such that Concordia has become a lead leader in the region in the realm of technology education. That's been exceptionally exciting. So in the U.S., we have computer rooms, only 10 computers. Yeah, so here we have, like, laptops. We have iPads. We have our own desktop. The smart board. The school Every year we'll host like an APAC tournament or an APAC event. We participate in four conferences. Uh, one is an international conference uh, called APAC, Asia Pacific Activities Conference. 
We also compete in a conference called SISEC, which is our city league. Uh, we have about 18 schools that participate in that one. Our middle school kids participate in a conference called CISA, um, also uh, about 18 schools. Both CISA and SISEC, uh, Concordia was a founding member of that. Our Acumus conference that we're part of, uh, mostly with fine arts uh, today. We have an online broadcasting thing for those tournaments so the people coming from other countries can, their parents can tune in. I also uh, blogged and parents from other countries who weren't able to watch their kids could keep up with the game. We asked all of the teachers to bring their best and, and share it with all of us. And in doing so, we enrich one another and we support one another. Absolutely. I love the way Concordia empowers teachers to create things that are good for students. This is the one school I've ever worked in where everybody's asked the question, why not? Instead of why. <laughs> uh, yeah. and, and it shows. It, it definitely delivers in terms of product and, and, and the projects we produce. Here at Concordia, we're not going to sit back on our laurels. We're not going to be content with, with the blessings that we've seen over the past number of years. What we're looking for is, is what's the next thing and how, how we can, can be prepared and continuing to grow uh, in our community toward that. Something I hear frequently is about we prepare students to be tomorrow's leaders. I feel like at Concordia, we have tomorrow's leaders leading today. Mm -hmm.